Hey guys, and welcome back to more Persona 5 Royal. In this episode, we gotta find the Mafia. Even though that is a ridiculous thing to ask of a high school s Oh, they're right over there. Hey, aren't you interested in all the hottest brand names? We're having a special sale just over there. How about you go take a peek? We ordered way too much, so I have a ton left over. My boss will kill me if I go back to him with all these extras. Look, I'll sell them to you for cheap. What do you say? What should we do? It depends on the price, wouldn't you say? Hey, what about you? These are unforgettable deals. Well, that's disappointing. Come back if you change your mind. Come on, the shop's right around here. How about you come take a look? Seems like some kind of sale. You probably shouldn't bother. Dude, they're not even remotely subtle about that. Jesus Christ. Anywho, hey man I'm supposed to talk to, what's up with those guys over there? What's up, kid? Don't see guys like me very often? Uh, what? Wait, guys like you, you mean the Mafia? Why are you talking about that dangerous stuff all of a sudden? I don't know nothing about them! I haven't been here long. Try asking someone else. Okay. <laughs> Don't play dumb with me. Introduce me to the Mafia, please. Ah, uh, that ain't so easy. I only know one guy around here. Sometimes I see him in the alley across the way. I don't think he's there today. Bummer. He might be near the station. Go there if you want to see him. I see. Hmm. Maybe this other person would know something. Apparently he's near the train station. Let's go look over there. Okay. Apparently, the survivors of poverty here in Shibuya know something about the Mafia. I guess it makes sense. This is sort of their home. Oh god, what now? This president's here. I walked past her at the station. Is she keeping an eye on us? Maybe. I guess she's curious about all this? Eh? Well, that's just ignore. If she's not getting in our way. More importantly, how are things on your guys' end? Nothing so far. I'm gonna try staking out the underground walkway. I'll check out the Inukami line. I guess I'll get there from the underground. I will gather some intel in the underground shopping mall as well. Please, continue on your end. Everyone's really going about this seriously. They're definitely worthy of being phantom thieves. We can't fall behind either. Let's look for that homeless man. You heard him. Let's try and find this fellow that happens to know about the Mafia. But before we do that, hey. Oh. Do you seem to be working hard? Did you find any clues? No! I mean, I'm trying. Mm. Looking for somebody. You're trying to find a homeless person. That's a good idea. They would know a lot about what goes on in this town. I haven't seen any here. But I would bet there are some in the underground area. Mm. Why would you bet mm. that? I don't like the idea of it. We should go check it out. Pfft, it'll be fine. There's so many people around, you know. It's not like if something happened, everybody would turn a blind eye and it's like, oh, it's not my problem. Wait, that would totally happen. Crud. Anyways, uh, yeah, you might remember this guy. Hey, buddy, what's up? What's that scary look on your face? You have something to say to me, just say it. Uh, hey, do you know anything about a part-time job? Part-time job? You're not talking about some ordinary job, huh? Take my advice, don't do it! Uh, okay. They'll squeeze every last penny out of you with threats and extortion! So my friends have fallen victim to their schemes. That mafia's evil, I tell ya. Yeah, most mafias are. But despite that, hey, can you can you hook me up? <laughs> They'll come to you eventually if you walk around this area around now. But just so you know who to avoid, I'll teach you how to tear them apart from normal people. Okay. They use some weird phrases like code names, you know? That's how they communicate with each other. Anyway, watch out if you hear any of that stuff. I'll keep that in mind, sir. I'll try to come if you during the day. The restless when it comes to talking to teens. Wow, that was actually extremely helpful. Thank you, sir. How's it going? Have you found anything? Yeah, kinda? So, you've grasped something already. That's to be expected of someone like you. Why don't we just go over the intel we've gathered so far? Okay, I'll start. Supposedly some guy near the 
access ways, talking about some kind of strong drugs. Oh crud, that sounds bad. I'm not counting on anything, but I'll check it out. As for me, I heard someone soliciting a high paying job in the station plaza. Apparently they're mostly targeting girls. I'll go see what it's about. On my end, I heard there are people saying strange things in the back alley near the arcade. Oh crud. Something about ice and vegetables. And something about snow today. I'll go observe. Just in case. The arcade is on Central Street, correct? Alright. We should do what we can to help them out. I have no idea which of these leads are real. Try going to the most suspicious sounding place. Well, snow in the middle of June sounds pretty goddamn sus. Then again, so do all of the leads. So I guess we'll just have to check every single one of them out starting with the plaza, but you know, we also have our teammates backing us up, and Makoto is gone, replaced by On. I honestly can't complain. Sorry. Uh, there's nothing over here. Look, someone's asking about a video shoot over by the train, but I guess that's for models. In any case, they're not here. Go try to see what Ryuji and Yusuke have. Okay, so our first lead was kind of a dud. Even though this is not the direction Ryuji is, it looks like Yusuke's over here. Oh god, the cops! Crap! What? What's going on? I was simply wondering where the arcade is. I'll be going now. Arcade, you're a high school student, ain't you? You better not be looking for trouble. All kinds of shady activity happens at arcades. Wh what? What are you talking about? It's nothing more than a place you go to play games. Yeah, I don't know what he's talking about. Oh, snap. Actually, Ryuji is over here. I see him in the distance. Hey, buddy. Oh, wait, that's not... Well, that's awkward. My shift's finally over. Ugh, I feel so awful. I drank a ton. Maybe I should find a new job. You know any opportunities for making quick money? Mm, you mean like those sneaky guys in the back alleys? You probably had to swindle some kids. God, I could never be a pusher. I don't want to get arrested. Uh, back alley, huh? You mean this back alley? Right over here? Yes, that is what he means. Hello? Have you made any progress toward finding the boss? Well, you aren't wrong about that. Hey, you two got some time? I have a great job for you. It's real easy. Guess you could call it a delivery job. It seems we didn't have to look very hard in the end. You're high schoolers, yeah? Don't you want something more than just your allowances? Hmm. By delivery, do you mean that of suspicious materials? Huh. <laughs> You're a funny girl. So, you won't answer me. Then I was right. Huh? What's up with you anyways? Why are you asking all these questions, huh? It was all a joke. Why would I get worked up over some dumb kids? Anyways, I can't hang. See ya. Um, if you don't want to deal with us, we could always go see your boss ourselves. You really gonna say that, knowing who he is? <sighs> no way I believe that. Well, I'm out of here. You guys are annoying me. I'm pretty sure he's part of the Mafia we're looking for. I think we should get some proof before we do that. I tried to trick him into saying something, but he dodged all the traps I was laying down. By the way, thanks for standing up for me. I I'm going to go now. That boss seems tricky. And it looks like he taught his subordinates well, too. No wonder the police are having trouble catching him. Anyway, you have some serious guts. You didn't back down at all against that hooligan. Though we still didn't end up with any new information. Let's stop here for today. Dude, we literally just started. Come on. How about it? Want to meet up? Uh, yes I do. But, as you'll soon find out. Do you think it's safe, though? We did ask tons of people, and there's a chance we're getting followed. True. Just to be safe, we should refrain from doing anything to make ourselves stand out. The sun will be setting soon, so let us disband for today and report our findings tomorrow. 
fine. We meet at karaoke tomorrow. We can talk in private, and it'll be cheap after school. Ugh, that must be what they call hustle hour. What? D dude, it's muscle hour? Wait, wait, is that wrong too? <laughs> Hello, it's happy hour? Muscle hour just sounds sweaty. Anyway, see you guys at karaoke tomorrow. All right, sounds like a plan. We're gonna meet up and combine our intel. Let's hopefully track down this mafia boss, but dude, I don't gotta lie, I'll be honest. It's an unknown number. Hello, this is Nijima. Makoto Nijima. Thanks for earlier. I dug it up. I realize I'm apologizing after the fact, but it just didn't feel right keeping it from you, so that's all. Bye. Been searching all along. <laughs> you talking to a woman? I heard her voice. Speaking of, some girl called looking for you around noon. Said she's the class president. Said she's got something that belongs to you. She seemed to know you, so I gave her your number. She must have looked up LeBlanc's address trying to contact you. That Nijima sure is thorough. Then again, she called you just to apologize. It's a bit weird, but maybe she's not so bad after all. Um, what? I beg to differ. She literally went behind our back to get her contact information, w entered our dwelling. This lady is sus. God, I'm actually mad. Oh, hey, crossword puzzles. Now I'm not. Let's, uh, <laughs> that's a little creepy. I don't know, but uh, change with the season. I think I got this one. Maybe. Eh, eh. Yes, we did it. We spelled a word, wardrobe. In Japanese schools, students change their wardrobe twice annually, in the summer and the winter, for comfort's sake. It's said the practice originated in China during the Edo period. People were supposed to change the wardrobes four times a year, but, but we don't know how that happened. Right. <laughs> People got lazy. I wear a white t-shirt and gym shorts almost every single day. Different ones, mind you, but uh, you, you knew that. Anyhow, we're going to play some pool tonight now that we read that specialty book. So let's summon the guys and girl. Thank you. This time at Penguin Sniper. We're getting technical level two now that we read that book on how to play pool better. This is such a small use of time in the grand scheme of things, oh. and the benefit is gigantic. So do it. <laughs> Can't wait to play. Let's get started. Okay. I'm up first again. <laughs> They'll repeat some dialogue. That's totally cool. And what do you know? We already got a point. Nice. I don't actually know how a pool works, but the way the balls are positioned, I'll need to make a difficult shot to clear this. Here I go. Ooh. Whoa. Are you going for that shot? What do you think I'm doing? Bang. We got it. Nice. Not bad. Good going. Not buying the back shot looked amazing. Nailed it. Wow, you're a pro. Nah, I just... I like books. What can I say? I knew you, could do it. you actually pulled off that shot. That's why you're our leader. Because I can play a recreational game? Huh? Okay. But now Morgana will bestow upon us technical rank two. Technical damage up and knockdown rate is up next. And that is really nice to get. Oh man, that was fun. Why are you killing me now? I wanted to see everyone have fun. I gotta say though, wow. thanks for playing billiards. It looks like you learned to present yourself a bit more tra attractively? What's that? I mean, I guess that's cool, oh, yeah. but uh, the billiards book came in handy. We should look for one when we have a chance. A special stick? That okay, so, so that's your hint to get to uh, level three, which we'll be doing when the time is right. But uh, yeah, once again, the stat you get there is randomized. Uh, if you're following this walkthrough, it doesn't matter what stat you get there. The five stats do function in kind of a strange order. They're not identical so you need a certain level of points to reach the next rank so if you're just following my guide you're gonna be okay don't sweat it don't worry if your kindness is also a bit behind i'll get resolved sooner or later so we meet again but my what murky weather we're having speaking of murky there haven't been any new developments in the phantom thief incidents if they go so far as using calling cards to get attention I doubt Matarame's case will be the last. 
What kind of target will they choose next? What do you think? To be blunt, neither do I. There's just not enough material to form any concrete thoughts. However, I'm positive they'll soon target someone who will garner even more attention. Hmm. Oh, sorry. I'm getting lost in my own head. I have to stay on top of any Phantom Thieves activity due to what I said on the air. If you hear any rumors at school, I hope you can let me know. Miss President to change it up? You mean, change our target? Just gotta show our justice to satisfy her, right? There are tons of shitty adults in this world. It's not like it matters who we're going after. She says this is for the students, but I bet it's just so she can go brag about it on college apps. But that mafia is stealing money from kids. We can't just accept that. It doesn't matter who the target came from anymore. On's right. We want to give courage to the weak. Isn't this the perfect target to accomplish that goal? They really have no talent. Never thought it'd be this noisy if you weren't singing. Anyways, I'm sure we'll shut a catchy up if we pull this off, but... That's exactly why we should do it. It all comes down to intel in the end. If we don't start finding tips on that front, we'll never get any further than this. There has to be someone who has what we need. That's what I was gonna say. I'm seriously drawing a blank. Wait! That journalist! You mean the woman who was staking out Matarame's house? Oh, yeah! I completely forgot about her! Didn't she give you her card? This is for a rather major publication. Think we can trust her? There's no other way. Okay, let's contact her. Oh, yes. Thank you. He says our time's up. Should we extend it? Happy hour's over, yeah? Eh, come on. Let's just go. <gasps> How wasteful. <coughs> <sighs> Anyways, I guess we just gotta wait for that journalist to email us back. Let us know ASAP when she responds. Got it? So much waiting around. God dang it. I just want to beat this mafia dude up. You've been coming home late. I'm not sticking your nose in other people's business. Yeah, God. Chief's as sharp as ever. Yeah, no kidding. Well, it's more like we're the ones being dragged into this. Yeah. This kind of sucks. We got 11 days, but we got to wait for that lady to call us back. God dang it. She still hasn't. But ooh, our teacher did. I have a special menu just for you today, master. Uh-huh. I'll clean with double the usual horsepower. Double the horsepower, but at the fixed price of 5,000 yen. Eee! You'll request me, won't you? <sighs> yeah, I guess. I mean, the benefits are really nice, but I'm not gonna lie. I want to spend time with other characters, but you can't right now. Okay, please wait for me in your room. Yo, Sojiro, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta peace, bro. <laughs> Please. That'd be awkward. Listen. Hey, you know how you listened to my story the other day? Yeah? You listened to my secret? I've been feeling more at ease since then. I've never been able to tell anyone about it. So, I figured I should actually do some housekeeping today to say thanks. Uh, uh. Sorry, I need to take a break. Well, there goes that. You want you, you want the bed? I mean, it's not comfy, but I'm not using it. Just saying. 
I'm so touched to hear that you care for my well-being, master. <laughs> uh, I'm at my limit. So exhausted. I'm sorry. <coughs> oh, God. I'm beat. I can't stop coughing. Maybe it's the cat hair? Hey, actually, I, I know a doctor. She's pretty great. <laughs> Yeah, I'm fine. Thanks. <coughs> you don't sound fine. <laughs> just kidding! I just wanted to slack off for a bit. I mean, there's nothing left for me to hide from you, so the truth comes out. You know. Now that I think about it, I'm glad you're the one who found out about me being a maid. What? What? Are you going to be all right in this dusty room? And have you been eating well? You need to eat fresh vegetables and none of that instant stuff. Vitamins are super important. You're going to turn out like me if you don't take care of yourself. So I turn out smoking hot. I guess I should get more sleep. I feel all achy. Girl, you need to go to a doctor. The crud. This is not good. Takasekun's guardians said they need more money, so yeah, I had my boss give me some shifts. I had to beg him for them, but my god, girl, you gotta chill. I'm not your guardian, but f come on. No, it's fine. Nothing you should worry about. Besides, mm. I'm, uh... I feel more at ease now that I have someone who knows what I'm going through. <laughs> I'm talking about you. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I knew what you meant. <laughs> Seriously, make up your mind. I'm just coughing because I'm tired. I just wanted to slack off. I'm not actually tired. Ha, <laughs> I'll work super hard for you, girl. All right. Stick to one thing. Holy crud, you can feel that she is just overworked. God, too much stuff. What's going on with her? And time's up. <laughs> I have to get my next job. So I'm going to head out. You literally didn't clean a thing. What the? I'll see you later then. Thank you for using our service. My God, she's getting progressively worse and worse. The frick. What now? Uh, is this master? Thank you for using our service today. So I guess it's a good thing I splurged at the doctor's. I finally got some cough medicine that works. Awesome. Hey. You gotta do some cleaning and ventilating on your own, even when I'm gone, okay? If you neglect stuff like that, it makes you more likely to get sick. But, but I'm not, you're the one that's sick. Holy crud. Seriously, can we prioritize your health? Who, me? I, I mean, I'm tired, but that's nothing new. Wait a minute, we're supposed to be talking about you. Don't change the subject. Oh my god. <laughs> no, you're tired, you're tired. Oh, but if you get sick, I'll look after you anytime. So please don't forget to request me. Uh, I finally get rid of the cough, and now I get these headaches and shivers. <sighs> Times like these are why we invented energy drinks. I just gotta chug one and push through. God dang it. Okay, see you later. It's like, bro, I, can, I, I can't relate, because I've probably never worked as hard as Kawakami, but still. Makoto. Oh God, what's going on? I received a call from your school today. They were asking if you made any lifestyle changes recently. Uh-huh. <sighs> I gave them a suitable enough answer. But is there some kind of issue at school? Oh God, she's perceptive. N no, it's nothing. I'm sorry to worry you. Dang, she closed it. Hey. She's mad. You've been coming home late these days. I doubt you would do such a thing, but try to avoid wandering around Shibuya at night. I heard stories of girls your age throwing their lives away out there, getting wrapped up in shady deals, blackmailed into sex work. I've heard rumors about that as well. People have been mentioning it at my school. These aren't mere rumors. I know of a few such cases. <sighs> well, it should be nothing for you to worry about. Just concentrate on your studies for now. <laughs> They're unfair. 
unforgivable. Holy cow, the nice music really blanketed how awkward that scene was. Jesus Christ. By contrast, our home life rocks. Holy crud. Um, anyway. <laughs> Yo, that reporter get in touch with you yet? We only just emailed her the other day. Why are you so hasty? I don't know. I've been looking for info, but I can't find a goddamn thing. Yeah, it's tough. Only got two weeks left, man. Duh, we're in a hurry. True. To be more precise, it's ten days. We ain't gonna have much time, even if we start right after she responds. Looks like this battle will have to be a quick one, then. We must also consider what we do in case she fails to respond entirely. Uh-oh. Hey, don't jinx this. I'm merely discussing all the possible outcomes. Ain't you nervous about this? Nervousness will not help us solve anything at this point. Dang. Were that the solution to a problem, I would be much quicker to turn to panic. Wow, he's like some kind of philosopher? Well, he's just an idiot. <laughs> I think he's very smart, and also he's the hasty one, because he dodges all the time. Nijima Senpai, aren't you going to help me? You said you would keep it a secret, but rumors have started getting out. Wait, you didn't leak that information, did you? Calm down. They're still targeting you? Even that delinquent found out. He might try and threaten me, too. Why is this happening to me? I can't afford to keep paying. I, I found some clues regarding your incident. I just need you to wait a bit longer. You're really gonna help? Everyone thinks you're just doing it for a letter of recommendation. That is not true. My goal here is to protect the students of this school. And please, please hurry. <sighs> well, well, well. Ten days. We just have to wait for any word. Let's repair the plan in the meanwhile. Okay, but like, what are we gonna do? Sorry to bother you while you're expecting information from that journalist. However, do you remember that thread about the group of burglars in Shibuya? Uh, yeah? Seems the one who posted about his brother is a student at my school. Oh, wow. So after some prodding, I was able to pry a few more details out of him. Alright. I was actually wondering about that. It didn't sound like they had anything to do with the mafia we've been chasing. But still, indeed. And I was able to ascertain his brother's name. It's Kazuya Makigami. Awesome. Dude, it's freaking crazy that someone involved in that crap goes to your school. Nice going, Yusuke. You even found the name of the guy we're looking for. Ha! Ah, that was super awesome. All we gotta do now is punish him in mementos. Mm. When are we doing that? Oh yeah, this guy's uh, burglar is gonna be near as scary as the mafia. He's just a plain dude, right? I'll show him what being a Phantom Thief's really about. It seems you are unanimous then. We can further discuss the details of the hideout. Whenever we do that! We have a target. We have to the Mafia to deal with two, so make sure the timing's right. Yeah, one's definitely more important than the other. Which basically means, screw mementos! We're not doing it till we absolutely have to! Which is going to be later, for the record. But today, we can start a new confidant. With Yusuke. Hey, buddy. What are your plans? I'm in Shibuya watching people. I'll be in the station for a while, so... Let me know if something comes up. Wow, he initiated a text conversation. Let's hang out with him. I see. I'll be in the ground passage. Don't miss me. Yeah, we can finally spend time. He's finally opened up a little bit. I love it. Hello. This station is always full of people. It serves as the perfect spot for people watching. Hmm. By the way, do you have any business here? Yeah, I gotta get a shake, but that's tomorrow. But I want to hang out with you. <laughs> you must have a wealth of free time if that is your decision. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> He's so... Oh, God, I love Yusuke. I'd like to speak with you. Okay, this would be a good idea to hang out with our homie. Do you have the time? Of course I got time for you. Do you remember how I mentioned my need to understand the heart? Well, I'm having a hard time grasping it. How will I be able to reach the truth of pure beauty? What should I paint to capture the contents of the heart? Uh, maybe that Mementos place? I don't know, it's like everyone's heart? Uh, I see! 
Mementos! The desire that emanates from that place is the root of humanity. Incredible. You honestly have a unique perspective on things. Uh, yeah, I try. With that destination in mind, let us make haste. Okay, but shouldn't we, you know, bring someone else along? I mean, we're going with Morgana, so that'll be fine. Oh, wait, we actually aren't. He gets left behind for some reason. Oh. This distorted realm teeming with shadows. A physical embodiment of the desire of the human heart. The same thing which brought forth the beauty of the Sayuri. And also create such morbid fabrications. But I actually find that aspect to be quite fascinating. The heart is akin to an abyss. Hmm. Now regarding the source of my slump, I actually have an idea. In that other dimension, I saw the perversions of Madarame's heart. At that moment, the art realm I had so much faith in was distorted by greed and unchecked desires. That is when the true ugliness of the world became clear to me. And from that point forward, my brush has been stayed by crippling hesitation. Dang, bro, that sucks. <sighs> Does pure beauty truly exist? And if so, can hands tainted by Madarame's depravity capture it? Uh, maybe? Considering such intense questions only serve to distance me from reality. <sighs> Doubt filled my mind. I struggled to find a reason to move my brush again. You'll get there one day. And honestly, I still have yet to discover a suitable answer. But what is the matter? Have you been overcome by an urge to paint? Uh, something like that. Yeah, bro. Give, 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 give me a brush. We gotta wrap this sucker up. It's just the two of us. Please do not rush me. I only need a little more time. Hmm. A lingering uncertainty presented in this place seems to be sharpening my senses. I feel a revelation approaching. Yay! That's good, right? <laughs> hmm. Yes. <laughs> Inspiration has struck! That must be it. <laughs> Such brilliant composition. <laughs> My heart races! Cool, bro. What the frick is that? Oh, God. <laughs> How inelegant. You wish to carry out your distorted will? Foolish shadow! Let's go. I shall cut you down for interrupting my work. Yeah, I don't know if we're going to cut these things. They resist physical. <laughs> so, yeah, this is a rare time with a confidant where we actually have to fight. I kind of like it, though, in the Persona. slimes are back. But this time, we are way stronger. So much stronger that, yeah, we can destroy them pretty easily. Just like that. An all-out attack combined with Yusuke's insane magic skill, which, yeah, slimes are weak to, like, almost all magic. Wow, that is way more than I thought. Should be enough to take these dudes down. Hit him with the Mabufu! Wah! We got a freeze on all of them. Wow. I actually can't believe it's gonna show us every single one. This slime is frozen, and this slime is frozen, and this slime. Wait, I thought, oh no, I didn't do that one yet. Heck, we might as well sync it up with the music, right? Go down! Yeah, they, they're really easy. Even if you don't have Robus, they're just, bruh. Then again, if you're on the hardest difficulty, maybe they are tough. It seems I've become too passionate. I'm glad you were here. You have my thanks. You're like Theo. I was referring to Van Gogh's brother, Theo. Van Gogh did not achieve fame in his lifetime, but found an admirer and supporter in his brother. Well, there aren't many who are willing to deal with my eccentricity. By the way, what's in your hand? A card? Hmm. Whenever I see blank paper, I have the urge to draw something on it. May I? <laughs> Impossible. Good. What? Hmm. A satisfactory result. What do you think? Not bad, wouldn't you say? Soon enough, my slump will be a thing of... 
My picture turned into a real skill card? Indeed. Would you mind helping me further? If I can overcome this slump, I should be able to aid our group like earlier. Uh, perhaps even more so. I know. Why don't we act as the thieves we are and strike a deal? Great. I promise your returns will be well worth your cooperation. Multiple cards were discovered among your belongings, replicas of the same design. I don't have a clue how these cards were used, but someone proficient in the arts was close to you. What were you having this person do? I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast acquired a new vow. It shall become the wings of rebellion that breaketh thy chains of captivity. With the birth of the Emperor Persona, I have obtained the winds of blessing that shall lead to freedom and new power. All right. We've done enough for today. I've completed a rough sketch. I'll finish this back at the door. I'll contact you once it's done. <laughs> we almost died. Thank you for all your assistance today. You helped me discover some truly wonderful inspiration. Yeah, no problem. I must say. I never expected my art skills would ever prove useful for the Phantom Thieves. What are you talking about? You make the cards! I have to hold up my end of the deal, so I'll perform the best of my ability. You need only ask. Yeah, man. I got you. But yeah, seriously, skill cards are awesome. Please, help us out when you can. I'm gonna ask you a lot. <laughs> it's my turn. Indeed! Then you can count on me. My brush is at your command. Draw me Kirby. I like him. Now, you should be heading back. I have to apply the finishing touches as soon as possible. Alright. For the first time in a long while. <laughs> My brush will dance again. I'm glad to hear it. Hopefully See this can you. get Yusuke out of his stump. Or was it slump? Yeah, it was definitely slump. A stump is a part of a tree. In case you didn't know. But yeah. Yusuke will now commission us. Stuff! How cool of him. God dang it, the phone again! The journalist responded. The Crossroads Bar. This is from that journalist, right? She wants to meet you there now? Looks like this crossroads place is in Shinjuku. A meetup in Shinjuku. Where did you learn about those kinds of things? Anyway, Shinjuku is a nightlife district full of temptation. Brace yourself. You should send everyone a message and let them know what you're up to. I feel like this entire episode's been us looking at the phone. Shinjuku at night, eh? That sounds rather dangerous. Where should we meet up? Stand by, on. It'd be easier to move around with less of us. What? <laughs> My apologies. I don't have the money to take the train there. And you're on standby, too. Me and him will go, okay? Yeah, I guess just the two of us. We should be fine, right? If he's going, I guess there's no need to worry. I'll leave it to you then. Well, I guess that's that. Let's meet up in Shibuya. Okay. Be careful, you two. I shall be sure to save money for situations like this from now on. <laughs> Wait, are you gonna go in your school uniform? It would be bad for you to stand out. You should change before you go.
You're in your uniform? Huh? No choice. I didn't have the time to go home. People aren't gonna notice anyways with this t-shirt over it. That's not the issue! Are you both idiots? I'm just saying now, I won't be to blame when you get caught by the cops. Don't worry about it. That place ain't so different from Shibuya. Come on, I'll guide you. If we're going to Shinjuku, we should probably hop on the JL. Just get out of this building, and then the ticket gate should be on the right. It's go time! Is this really going to be okay? Yeah, I don't know, man. Can you, like, put on a sweater or something? This is... I guess the shirt isn't the problem, but... Me and Ryuji. Late at night. Hey. Come on, let's hop on the JL! Get out of here, Ned, through the ticket gates on the right. Yeah, yeah, I'm just... I don't know, man. I feel like something's bad's gonna happen, but... We'll find out. If that is the case, in the next episode of Persona 5 Royal, I know, I'm such a tease. But, yeah, we did a lot in this part. We tracked down, supposedly, the Mafia. That's in Shibuya. And, well, this is all going to lead up to hopefully stealing that Mafia boss's heart. So Makoto doesn't tell the police that we're the Phantom Thieves. God dang, a lot's going on. But, will Oya come to save the day? I honestly doubt it. But, hey... That's just me. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys, and see you next time. Bye.